Hey, it's Leighton here from Australian Direct, and I'm just filling in while Clayton's away for the day doing his helicopter deliveries for Christmas. Now today I'm just going to run you through a little bit about testing your system so you can make sure that it's fully operational before you go away. So we need to go through the various components, your battery, your fridge, and your solar panel, and I'll just give you some quick tips and advice on what you can do to check them out before you go away so you know everything's working for your camping Christmas trip. So one of the very first things you should check with your battery is make sure all the connections and where you've got it connected to are clean and tight. That's very important. The next thing and probably the most important thing is to check the voltage of the battery. How do you do that? Well, you either do it with a multimeter or you can do it with an inbuilt voltage meter in your battery pack if you've got one. Now we're just going to set the multimeter up here and we put red to positive on the battery and black to negative. So that's a, that's a good charged AGM battery, that's right up. Okay, You can have it up to about 12.8 volts with no load and that's a really a fully charged AGM battery. Now if it's lower than that, if it's down about 11.8 volts, I suggest that you charge it and check the voltage after it's charged and see if it holds that charge. So once we charge it, it really has to stay at that 12.8 volts. If you go back overnight and check it again, if it's still 12.8 volts, then great. Your battery appears to be in operating condition. Okay, now the next thing you should do is check all your loads that they actually operate off your battery before you go. And also if they work off 240 volt, check if they work off 240 volt mains also before you go. So the easiest way to do that is basically plug them in. So with this fridge, we'll check the 240 and we'll plug it in. Okay, it seems to be working good. Okay, and then what we'll do now is check it on our DC. So check it from the battery and make sure that it works. And that seems to work too. So that's great. And also even little things like LED lighting, just do a quick check and make sure that everything works fine. So either off your battery or power pack or your kick-ass fridge if you've got one. So you know that everything actually works and switches on before you go. So the first and probably the most common charging device you have when you're out in the bush is your trusty solar panel. So before you go away, you need to check if that's working correctly. Okay. The really easy way to do that is use one of our kick-ass digital watt meters, which is a really easy way to show what the solar panel output is. All you need to do is clip it onto your Anderson connector on the source side and plug that into your battery pack on the load side. And if you've got your panels out in the sun, what this meter will tell you is the current that the panel starts to produce and puts into your battery. It will also tell you the voltage and the wattage and also it's got some average functions in there which you can measure the peak current and peak voltage and so on and so forth. Now it's a really easy way if you simply hook that up and have your panels in the sun, you can check the output of your solar panel and make sure that it's working correctly. The next thing we need to check is if our DC-DC charger is working. So you're charging from the car basically. So whether you've got an isolator or a DC-DC charger in your vehicle, you need to check if that's working properly. So in the case of a DC-DC charger, if you have a look here, your voltage when the engine's running should be what it is here now, about 14.3 volts or a little bit over that if the battery's fully charged, okay? So the DC-DC charger will boost the voltage from your vehicle to properly charge your AGM battery, okay? So also, if you had an isolator, you need to check, start the vehicle and check the voltage. You sometimes you may need a multimeter also to check if you haven't got one of these on your battery. You need to check that once the vehicle's running and that way you know your auxiliary battery is being charged either by a DC-DC charger or by your alternator. The third device is your AC mains powered battery charger. And usually these are a stage type fully automatic charger that charges AGM batteries perfectly. Now, you need to check that this charger is operating correctly because you might have a generator 
and you might take your generator with you out in the bush and you can plug your AC charger into that to charge your batteries. So the easiest way to do that is charge your battery overnight. It's always a good idea to charge your battery overnight before you go away anyway. And that way you can tell that this charger, this mains power charger is working correctly by making sure that it's gone through all its relevant charging stages and has entered a float mode. And the voltage on your charger should be about 13.6 volts at float mode. Once you've checked your battery's voltage and know that it's holding charged, and you've checked that all your loads work off your battery, and you checked all your charging devices work okay, like your solar panels, your DC-DC charger or isolator, or your AC charger, what you should do is simulate the system running. So hook it all up, hook your fridge up to your batteries and your solar panel up to your battery pack, and have it run, and see what happens, and make sure that it runs perfectly. And that'll make sure that when you're out in the sticks that everything's fine. So if you give it a little test run, that's a really good thing to do. I'm Leighton from Australian Direct. Thanks for watching. Have a great, safe Christmas and all the best for the new year.